Welcome back everyone. Starting the week off, I wanted to complete the Lumberge and Draenor Easy Diary so that I could get the Explorer's Ring because I'm sick and tired of running to Draenor. However, it turns out the first tier of the Explorer Ring doesn't actually give you a Cabbage Patch Teleport. So, um... <laughs> in another goal of the week, um... Another goal of the week? Another goal of mine for the week is going to be getting a Dragon Defender. We're right up closing on 65 strength, and then after that, we're going to hop on to 65 attack. So that'll get us access to the Warrior School. And there we are, 65 attack, or 65 strength has been achieved onto attack. And then just a couple hours later, we have landed a 65 attack. It's time to access the Warrior's Guild. All right, after fighting this black armor set for the last, um, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so, hadn't been too long actually, you get pretty fast credits fighting the black armor set. Apparently it is the most efficient for credits versus HP. Um, the smart people figured that one out, not me. Uh, anyway, got myself a thousand credits here. I figure I'll need approximately 2,000, 2,500, and I don't want to farm them all up without a defender. So this way I can go up there, spend the 1,000 or so credits, achieve a few defenders, and then come back down here with a defender and farm up the rest. And it should speed up the um, later credits I need to farm up having the defender. So that's the plan. Let's get in there. All right, here we go, boys. A 1,000 tokens. Let's see what this gets us. Wait, do I have to? Yeah, okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you. Release some of those bronze defenders for me. Thank you very much. I shall go in and farm them up. Here we go. Oh, baby. There is the first one. I don't want those. Give me the defender. First defender. Hey, 66 kills for the bronze defender. We're going to exit here. So just a little bit over drop rate. Oh, oh. Oh my god, so many levels. Give me the Iron Defender. Alright. Iron Defender achieved. KC 94. So only approximately 30 or so. Oh wow. A little bit of a little bit of spoonage. A little bit of spoonage never hurts anybody. Steel Defender at 103. So like 12 kills to the Steel Defender after the Iron. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh my god, there it is. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. Black Defender finally at 193. Last Defender was at 106, I believe, or 103. This one was 193. Okay, there we go. Hey, there's our Mithril Defender. Got that one at 211, so we got that one pretty quick after the Black Defender. I wonder if we can snag an Admin Defender before we have to go farm more tokens. Let's give it a go. I have forgotten about the fact that you do need a minimum of 100 to even enter, so we have to go farm more tokens anyway. Ooh, baby. While farming up our next batch of tokens, we hit 55 defense, and there is the neatest knot. No more running around in a damn initiate helm. I don't even have proselyte yet. That's pretty bad. I need to do slug menace, but we don't have to worry about that anymore. The neatest knot can be equipped now. Wow. Hey, oh. Hey, hey, oh. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Leave me alone. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? What the hell? That was weird. Admin Defender at 222. So another spoon. Honestly, I'm getting pretty dang spooned on these things. This is the sixth Defender. And we're at 222. If we were right on rate, we'd be at 300. Oh my god. There it is. Holy crap. Rune Defender. That one took... 316 or it didn't take 316 got it at 316 so almost 100 kills from the admin defender a little bit of a yikers but we still have a fair amount of tokens left over to go for the dragon defender so i have my rune defender right here all right 10 for every minute 
100 tokens. Cool, cool. So 10 every minute. So that's six minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So I got about an hour and a half or so. Something like that. Eh. No. No, like an hour and six minutes. I'm not great at mental math. Something like that. We'll see if we can get it done. Boy! Oh, dude, this guy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I feel so bad right now. I might just pick it up and not equip it. I've killed maybe like um, 20 of these things. I'm just going to kill another one so he doesn't know. I've killed maybe 20 of these things and I just got this. I saw this dude. He was like coming down here earlier when I was going back upstairs to get my mithril defender. So he's been down here for a while and he still doesn't have it. I I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. But there's my dragon defender. About 20 KC it took. So, um, poor fella. Poor fella. Good luck. Good luck. Hope you get it soon, man. You can't see me up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have 60 defense yet. I was kind of hoping I would get 60 defense while, like, doing this grind. As you can see, that was not the case, though. Still got a few more levels. So... I'm gonna go do some Slayer or maybe some Rock Crabs so I can uh, actually equip this thing. I kind of forgot about that. And a few hours of Rock Crabs later. Well, I say a few hours. I think it was like an hour and a half or so. We're at 60 defense. We're gonna throw this bad boy on for the first time. Oh yeah. It's it's not huge bonuses over the Rune Defender, but versus, you know, my Rune Kite Shield, which is basically the jump we're making. Huge, huge upgrade. Huge upgrade. Speaking of huge upgrades, we have one more that is uh, in pretty close proximity. Caught myself 1,600 to 1,800 or so Karambons, I think it was. This is going to get me to 70 cooking if I don't burn 400 of them or something, but that's unlikely. This will get me to 70 cooking. Then we're going to knock out Awawoge, the final RFD subquest. And then we're going to kick that Culinary Romancer's ass and get ourselves some Barrow Gloves. Barrow's Gloves. Jeez. Just got to get 70 cooking first. Oh, baby. Oh, and there she is. Level 70 cooking. It is time to complete Recipe for Disaster. As long as I can actually... Um, kill the boss at the end of that is <laughs> uh, never fought it on an account with um 60s in the combat stats so it should be fun it'll be a new experience that's for sure low level culinary romancer uh, go ahead and cook these last few karamb ones um, yeah I still have to collect the grigris so we have um, a good bit of prep I guess you would call it Give it a prep before we actually knock that out. Ended up with 2,000 Karambons. So this will, you know, this will serve us for a decent amount of time, I'd like to say. For our Slayer grind and might even last us till some Barrows. All right. We've made it. The journey is completed. We have our three Talismans and our three different bones. Yes. I, I have them. How do I... Okay, it's on use already. There we go. Excellent. And here we are. We have our three Grigris. Gorilla. Ooh, he's a big, strong man. Zombie. And Ninja. Let's knock out Recipe for Disaster once and for all. Holy crap, man. That sure is a big snake. No, seriously. It's quite literally a big snake. All right, let's cook us a snake. Success, successfully, jeez, successfully. All right, first one. Yikes. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. This is such a cool teleport animation. And we are going to use it on him. 
There it is. King Awawogi has been. There's quite a bit of dialogue here. Has been. Has been. Freed! There it is. You have freed King Awoge. Increased access to the culinary mancer's chest. So I believe we have access to dragon gauntlets now, but we aren't buying those. Personally, don't know why I wasted my time with the rune gauntlets. Haven't done a whole lot with them, and honestly, I've been wearing the graceful most of the time. But it was only like 14k, so you know, not not like a huge waste of money or anything. Nothing, nothing too unfortunate, I wouldn't say. I don't have to fight him immediately, do I? I'm not ready. I don't think I have to fight him immediately. Should be okay. I'll be back. What is this guy? The Terminator? You know, he is silver, to be fair. He's gone. All right, that's the quest done, right? Go through the portal and finish him off. What? Nah, he's done. He's gone. He ran away. It's quest over. Give me my reward. All right. Geared up for the first fight, we have Agrith Nana, which is um the demon from Shadow of the Storm in banana form. Don't ask me about that one. I don't know. He's made of bananas, though. Everything's food. Related. You need to have com what? You need to complete a Desert Treasure 1 quest to access this portal? What the hell does Desert Treasure 1 have to do with Recipe for Disaster? Did any of these guys have anything to do with Desert Treasure? Am I tripping? How did I get, th how did I get this far? You telling me I need Desert Treasure done? That's a big ass quest, man. I have all the requirements, actually. I don't feel like doing desert treasure. Uh, uh, oh, come on. How do how can you get this far in recipe for disaster? What does desert treasure have to do with anything? OK. To be fair, it's been a really, really long time since I did Recipe for Disaster on my main account. And uh, yeah, I forgot that the bosses at the end, three of them, or maybe even four of them actually, are from, Res or are from Recipe for Disaster, are from Desert Treasure. Completely eluded my mind. However, to do Desert Treasure, you know, ignoring all of the stat requirements and stuff, you need 12 magic logs. I didn't get 12 magic logs from Winter Todd on the beginning of my account. So we threw uh, through, we sent 12 or 14 or something like that. And um, to see if I could pull a magic log relatively easily. And um, I got some burnt pages, which is pretty cool. I will be needing those. But we didn't get any magic logs. That's the... Um, that's the point of this clip. So in 12 games of Winter Todd, no magic logs, I, I was not trying to sit there and grind out Winter Todd forever. So um, we had to think of something else. And so I set out to do some research. Basically, all I did was go to the magic log wiki page and look at the sources of magic logs. I discovered you can get these at a one in 10 chance from nature implants, which are only 58 hunter. Not too high of a requirement, not too high of a drop rate. I don't mind that. So that's what we're going to set out to do. First things first, get the hunter level up. So we're going to catch ourselves some swamp lizards and then eventually move on to eagle um, hunter. You have the bird on your arm. Hey, there we go. And with that level, I can now place three traps. So it should speed up or not should. It will speed up. Uh, catching lizards and overall the hunter grind man i swear after doing this i am like a master falconeer i am just really good at this now anyway 58 hunter has been acquired achieved 
we have 5800, we can now catch nature and blinks. So off to Puro Puro we go on the hunt for magic logs. Sweet baby Jesus. There is the last magic log. This took a really long time. Like this was not, this is not fun. I can't say for certain whether or not Winter Todd would have been quicker or had taken longer. I don't really know what the odds of getting a magic log are from Winter Todd at 59 wood cutting. But there's all 12 of our magic logs. If I had to just throw out a number, I would say that probably took two to three hours. It was not the most fun. I did spend like the first hour running around Puro Puro instead of hopping between worlds looking for nature implings. That shit sucked, man. Like that sucked. But once I started hopping worlds looking for implings, it seemed to speed up a good bit. So I would definitely recommend that if you are searching through Puro Puro. All right, first up on the kill list for Desert Treasure, Fareed. Kill him with water spells, wear ice gloves, or he'll de-equip your weapon. And I was wondering where the gym was at, and then I realized it's in my inventory, and I was like, oh shit, some guy's gonna fucking spawn and just demolish my ass. So I, I teleported away and threw on Protect from Melee. All right, none of the boss fights in Desert Treasure are exactly anything, you know, special or insanely difficult. However, there is this little mechanic with this fella where you can flick between prayers and basically he'll never attack you. But um, as you can see, I was not doing that very well. And um, I started to panic because I was afraid to, to stop to heal. And I was also afraid to stop and attack him you know, click him to continue attacking him. <laughs> Started to panic a little bit. But, um, we got him in the end. I don't think I got chanced. Um, I'm not gonna lie, we panicked. I don't think I'm gonna last very long on my hardcore. That's all I'm saying. Here we are at the end, though. The rest of the boss fights went all relatively smooth. Nothing to write home about. No panicking. <laughs> no jad hands. Um... Like in the, the Decius fight. Or Decius, is that? I think Decius is his name. I'm not going to look it up right now. Because I'm recording this clip. Uh, time for a maze. Yeah. Alright, uh, this is quite unfortunate. Didn't bring enough energy pots, so I had to sit here and wait for my run to regen. And uh, while I was doing that, it, it kicked me out of the maze. So, I said, screw that. I'm gonna go make a bunch of energy pots and then I'm gonna do it on full run the entire freaking time. <laughs> so here we are with five and a half energy pots remaining at the point at which we had to stop for run energy. You're not stopping me now, stupid little pyramid. I have infinite amounts of run. You can't do anything to me. Just gotta run through this final level and we're done with this stupid fucking quest. And here we are. Like I said, nothing can stop me now. I have so much run. We find the uh, Majorat Azanandra. Azanadra? Azadnadra. They all have such weird names. It's just... It's hard to pronounce any of these names correctly. There's so many strange names. Anyway, Desert Treasure 1. Finally completed. 20,000 magic XP. That's a honestly a pretty decent chunk of XP. I don't mind that. And access to ancient magics, which will be insanely useful later for the account. But anyway, we're going to ignore all of that right now and return to our one true goal for this episode, other than the Dragon Defender, that being Barrow's Gloves. Now we can enter the portal and fight the Colored Romancer, so let's kick some ass. And that is the Banana done time for me to split <laughs> next up flame bead now these are all supposed to be food oriented but um this guy looks more like a set of anal beads than um any food i've ever seen what the hell's going on there jagex huh next up caramel kind of looks like an ice cream cone with a cherry on top and drains the shit out of your stats holy crap 
Anyway, uh, pretty easy. Done and done. Man, who needs a shadow? Ivan's Blast is basically, like, the poor man's shadow. I mean, it's just, I'm sitting here in rune armor, destroying things. I don't, I don't think that's how a shadow works at all, but, uh, uh yeah, I, Ivan's Staff, good. Alright, now from what I've read, this next one has been responsible for ending some people's hardcore Iron Man runs. It can max 2020, which is a total of 40 on those ranged attacks. It hits pretty inaccurately, but with some bad luck, according to the wiki, um, you can die here pretty easily. So just keeping an eye on our HP, we're never going to sit below 40. And uh, we even brought some combo food. I brought swordfish and karambons here in case I need to eat up a chunk of damage really quick. But um, pretty uneventful. I tanked it pretty well. Had to eat here and there just from, you know, basically tick damage slowly whittling me down throughout the fight. But um, no close calls. So quite proud of that one. Quite proud of that one. We got some good RNG there. I didn't get shredded. And arguably this fight was um one of the easier ones. He has like negatives across the board in his defensive stats. So like he just gets demolished by basically whatever you use. And I didn't want to get hit, so we snared him and then Ivan's blast him from a distance and it it destroyed him, basically. Uh pretty easy. Pretty easy at the end of the day. And after many trials and tribulations and setbacks due to ignorance on my part of quests required. Uh, we have the Barrow's Gloves, ladies and gentlemen. We're a little poor now, only 19k, but that's perfectly fine. We have another massive upgrade unlocked for the account. Barrow's Gloves achieved. Alright, we're going to be ending the week off with this final little quest that, uh, introduces Varlamore. I haven't been there on the iron and uh I'm getting to the level where I'm going to be able to start doing some of the the content there. I can already do the hunter rumors. That'll be an interesting way to train hunter. Apparently it's pretty decent from what I hear. And also the perilous moons, three new armor sets and three new weapons that are all kind of right around my level. I might need a little bit higher stats. I might want to go for 70s and maybe some um a little bit of Barrow's equipment before I head over there, but we're going to go ahead and unlock it by completing Children of the Sun. And uh, next week, we've got some big plans for the account that involve a bunch of new content that was recently added to RuneScape. So be on the lookout for that, and we'll catch you guys then. And um, enjoy your weeks. Good luck on those RNG grinds, and uh, peace out. I'll catch you guys later.